Hello everyone and welcome back to another Ethan Journal video. So today's video is a pretty fun one because we are going to be taking a look at a website called Space Hay. Um, now if you grew up in like the 90s, like, like in the late 90s, early 2000s, which I did not, um, you probably might have used uh, uh, MySpace, which was essentially like Facebook, but it was a lot more like simple and the design looked like the 90s and it's kind of hard to explain kind of like a social network you had to like list your friends in a box and stuff like that like it's known by many other names um and that was uh myspace now that shut down around the time because of websites like twitter and facebook started popping up and myspace ended up losing popularity but there is this german coder um who started a website called space hay which is a very similar design to what MySpace was. And it looks like super cool. I've been on there for five months. I really don't do much because again, it's a really small social media platform. So nobody big is really on there or anybody that I'm interested in or even know who they are. Um, and again, it's mostly like if I had friends that were gonna be on there, I'd probably use it a lot more. And I do have a Facebook account, but I don't use it that much. Um, but I mean, Space Hay is pretty cool, and that's what we're going to be exploring in this video. And I just want to let you guys know this video is not sponsored at all by um, Space Hay or the, their parent company. Um, I just thought it'd be kind of cool to make this video. Um, they are not paying me anything to do this video at all. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. <music> So Space Hay is essentially a website that's like pretty close to being what MySpace was. You have a, um, just that you can enter into your blog and make posts. You can uh, add friends that are on there. And other than that, it's not much. The design is pretty simple, but I guess to really explain it, let's head over to the computer and check out the website. So I've already made an account on here. Um, and as you can see, this is my account. I have my name here. Um, you can edit your profile up here, and they even went with the same aspect ratio as a 90s website where it doesn't scale to the rest of the screen. As you can see, it's pretty simple. Um, I'll give you guys like a tour of what it does. So up here you have your header with like your information, like here are all the different uh, pages that you can go to. We'll get to this in a little bit. Um, over here you have your status and your thing. I do have a profile picture, and yes, it is sideways. I don't know why. I have to get that fixed. Um, and then over here you have like contact this person. Um, here's my space hey URL if you guys would like to friend me. Um, this is my URL if you guys want to make an account. Then you have your interests down here, um, your links. And then here you have like more information. So over here I have my like about area. Um, here's my blog posts and then friends. So this guy is the creator of Space Hay. So you're like friends with him by default. And then you have the official Space Hay account, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, I don't know anybody else on this platform, which is why I have no other friends. Um, so if we go over here to like edit your profile, you can see you get this like lo this this list of stuff that you can do. Um, and there's more stuff down here. You just guys can't see it. Um, and if we go back to the home page, um, let's see about trying to create a blog post. So let's uh, make a blog post. So we can choose a category. I'll just put blogging. And then here you can choose between two different categories. You can choose a WYSIWYG editor, or which is for what you see is what you get, um, which is like what I, most people are going to end up using, which is a text box. Or you can code it straight in HTML, which might be helpful for some people who know how to do HTML. Now this box is resizable, which is kind of crazy, and I don't know if this is a glitch that it goes out that far, or if that's on purpose. Um, but let's try doing something here in the WYSIWYG editor. So I'll just do this and I'll say, um, I'll put this in bold and I'll say, hello. So that's like the simple way that you can do this. You can even edit right here and you can make this like a header. Um, you can keep this as, by default, it's all in paragraph form, which makes sense. If you know anything about coding, this will probably make quite a bit of sense for you guys. Because, again, it's like really early um, 2000s-esque um, design. So it's not going to have like all of the fancy editing and, and great design because it's made to look old. That's the purpose of it. Um, and again, this website, um, another funny thing about making a blog post is you can't actually upload photos straight to the website. You have to embed them through another website because again, you, you're getting this whole thing for free and the only way you can actually support them is by, uh, um, buying their merchandise or donating to them. So if you go here, I'm just going to publish this quick so we can go and say YouTube video 
post. All right, so I'll do that, and then you can click here. You can disable. I'm gonna disable comments just um, like I do that most of the time, and I'll make this public. So if you guys want to come to my account, you guys can see it. So now let's go to view entry, and as you can see, here is um, the blog post. It's very simple um, and stuff like that. So let's go down here and let's see about um, the Space Hay shop. So this is the only way you can support them. Again, this is why you can't upload photos to it is because, um, again, they're giving you this entire service for free um, and there's not many advertisements either. So you can buy a sticker from them for nine euros, which I believe is like $9.50 US um, in United States currency, which makes sense. And then you get like the supporter badge. I have not done this yet, but I do plan on doing this in the future because I love what they're doing here. Um, and I really do enjoy this website that they have built up. So if you go over here, um, let's head back to my homepage um, and let's see about exploring some of the other features that this has. And this is what everybody was going to see me as most of the time. Um, so here's, they do have like one or two advertisements, but they're not like pop-up ads like you see on modern websites. That's just like you have to actually contact them. Um, and they always have this disclaimer here that says, this is a fan-based project. It is not affiliated with MySpace in any way, which makes sense because MySpace may not like this website, but they they don't even really have anything like this anymore. MySpace has changed uh, a lot in the past 10 years, um, and it's nothing like it used to be. So having them do this is, like, in my opinion, it is amazing to see that people are still going back and trying to recreate the past and the past still works. Honestly, I find that um, using websites that look old and are more fun in the past, um, I find it really fun. In fact, if you go to a website called theoldnet.com, um, they have this website here called The Old Net, and this is created by, I believe, another YouTuber or something. Um, and it's essentially a website that works on old computers, and it's made to look old, as you can see. All right, everyone, so that was Space Hay. Um, it's a really cool website, and I would like you guys to check it out. You can head over to spacehay.com and create yourself an account. Again, they are not sponsoring me anything to do this. I don't even, they don't even know I'm making this video. But honestly, this is a really cool project that they have put together. Um, if any updates come to this website and they change stuff, I someday want to do an interview with the guy who created Space Hay because it's a super cool website and I love the aspect of it of going back to the past because again, I was I didn't grow up in a time like that. Um, by the time that I was able to use a computer, Facebook was already a thing and MySpace was in the past. And honestly, I didn't even know, it. was it a good thing? Was it a bad thing? There's a lot more features inside of Space Hay than I explored with this video. Um, but it's, it's a really cool website. It's, there's a bunch of cool things like there's instant messaging, um, there's blogging, there's, you can, um, I believe you can start a portfolio in the future. I don't know for sure. Um, but there's a bunch of other stuff. So other than that, I'd like to say thank you guys for watching today's video. If you'd like to support me, you can have her head over to patreon.com slash Ethan's journal, and you can pledge for just as little as $1 a month. Other than that, have a great rest of your day and goodbye.